So like below zero, Jesse Holmes leading the Iditarod 2024 through Rainy Pass at about 11 a.m. today, Alaska time. Now, obviously, the two guys right behind him, we're seeing Pete Kaiser skyrocket up the standings, which is no surprise. I didn't mention him too much in my pre-race hype because everyone else is. And he's an expected contender, possible champion this year, like he always is in these races, won the Cusco. Uh, this this Iditarod Trail versus the Cusco Trail, I'm just going to interject and talk for a second, though. There's just so many more variables with trail obstacles, trail conditions. Cusco is flat. It's, it's a, you know, you train, you prepare for it. It's a very good trail in terms of a trail pack. I did we're seeing already uh, reports. You listen to Aaron Burmeister talk about windrifts going, uh, you know, through Sweat at Finger Lake as they climb up into the mountains there. And, and the other side of the mountains, they're going to see some open water out there. We saw the Iron Dog Racers, you know, some of the snow machiners lose their snow machines actually in the river on the other side of the Alaska Range out by Rona McGrath. And a bare ground as well. No snow on the ground. So these dog teams are moving on dry ground, on tundra tussocks and that kind of thing. So it's not the smooth, hard packed snow icy trail that is the Kuskokwim 300 trail in terms of the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race uh, Terrain Trail some of those obstacles so it's going to be a little bit different you know for for Pete but obviously great musher great dog team expected to contend for a win if not actually get a win he'll push someone else to get that win so with all that said he skyrocketed it up we've got Matt Hall another guy tremendous bush Alaska experience trail savvy nice dog team young hungry musher uh, also up there right behind Jesse Holmes so those three but I wanted to point out because I'm looking at the standings right now and so those guys are already two hours back now there's a time differential I know but two hours back from Jesse Holmes going through Rainy Pass he's got to rest some more they probably get a little bit more rest in the bank but still that's uh you know I was talking about you know if a musher has a rabbit strategy and a good team if they can keep you know picking up the pennies you know and getting more of a finger hold of a lead on the, on the competition uh, and stretch it to a four or six hour lead by the by the 24 and get out ahead of them and take a 24 hour layover you know up the trail farther than their competition that that can really, you know, give them a good strategic advantage on the river going to the coast. So uh, already Rainy passed a two-hour lead on the next dog teams for Jesse Holmes, you know, two hours, uh, uh, you know, uh, 11 a.m. Those guys are going through Rainy Pass at 1 o'clock. Uh, hotter in the day, you know, obviously it looks like it's cold, little snow, little wind, 